Hello! Today, we're going to learn how to insert arithmetic means between terms. I am Choi Doans and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, define arithmetic means and determine the arithmetic means given the extremes. Important Notes the term of the arithmetic sequence that is between two given terms are called arithmetic means. To illustrate, I have here a sequence 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. A sub 1 is 4, A sub 2 is 8, A sub 3 is 12, A sub 4 is 16, and A sub 5 is 20. The first and the last terms of a finite arithmetic sequence are called arithmetic extremes, which is equal to 4 and 20. And the terms in between are called arithmetic means. These are 8, 12, and 16. Okay, the formula for the n term of an arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d, where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, and d is the common difference. The arithmetic mean between two numbers is sometimes called the average of two numbers. Okay, let's have an example. Example number one, what is the arithmetic mean between negative 12 and negative 8? Solution, given. We have negative 12, blank, and negative 8. We're going to get the average of two numbers, that is negative 12 plus negative 8 all over 2. It is equal to negative 20 divided by 2, you'll get negative 10. So the terms are negative 12, negative 10, and negative 8. Another example, example number 2, what is the arithmetic mean between 75 and 85? 75 plus 85 divided by 2 is equal to? 160 divided by 2, that is equal to 80. So the terms are 75, 80, and 85. Example number 3. Insert three arithmetic means between negative 17 and 19. Solution, given. Negative 17, blank, 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 and 19. A sub n is equal to 19. A sub 1 is negative 17. N is 5. D is unknown. Applying the formula, we have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by d, where 19 goes to a sub n, negative 17 goes to a sub 1, and 5 goes to n. We have now 19 is equal to negative 17 plus quantity 5 minus 1 multiplied by d. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply d to quantity 5 minus 1, that is 5d minus d. So, 19 is equal to negative 17 plus 5d minus d. Combining like terms, we have 5d minus d, that is 4d. 19 now is equal to negative 17 plus 4d. Then, transpose negative 17 to the other side of the equation. From negative, it becomes positive. So, 19 plus 17, that is 36. 36 now is equal to 4d. Divide both sides by 4. To isolate D, we have 36 divided by 4, that is equal to 9. 4D divided by 4, that is equal to D. D now is equal to 9. Okay, I'm going to share also the easiest way to find for the value of the common difference, and that is by using the difference formula. Note that D is equal to A sub N minus A sub K all over N minus K, where N should be greater than K. By substitution, our a sub n is equal to 19, a sub k is equal to a sub 1, and that is negative 17. n is 5, k is 1. We have now d is equal to 19 minus negative 17 all over 5 minus 1, which is equal to 36 all over 4. d now is equal to 9. We have the same answer. In order to get the next term, we will add 9 to the first term and so on. So, negative 17 plus 9 is equal to negative 8. Negative 8 plus 9 is equal to 1. 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. 10 plus 9 is equal to 19. Therefore, the three arithmetic means between negative 17 and 19 are negative 8, 1, and 10. 
Example number 4. Insert 4 arithmetic means between 37 and 7. Solution, given. 37, blank, 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 and 7. A sub n is equal to 7. A sub 1 is 37. N is 6. D is unknown. Applying the formula, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by D, where 7 goes to A sub n, 37 goes to A sub 1, and 6 goes to n. We have now 7 is equal to 37 plus quantity 6 minus 1 multiplied by D. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply D to quantity 6 minus 1. And that is 6D minus D. So, 7 is equal to 37 plus 6D minus D. Combining like terms, we have 6D minus D, that is 5D. 7 now is equal to 37 plus 5D. Then, transpose 37 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it becomes negative. So, 7 minus 37, that is negative 30. Negative 30 now is equal to 5D. Divide both sides by 5. To isolate D, we have negative 30 divided by 5, that is equal to negative 6. 5D divided by 5, that is equal to D. D now is equal to negative 6. We have an alternative solution and that is by using the difference formula. Note that D is equal to A sub N minus A sub K all over N minus K, where N should be greater than K. By substitution, our A sub N is equal to 7, A sub K is equal to A sub 1 and that is 37, N is 6, K is 1. We have now D is equal to 7 minus 37 all over 6 minus 1. It is equal to negative 30 all over 5. That is equal to negative 6. So again, we have the same answer. In order to get the next term, we will add negative 6 to the first term and so on. So 37 plus negative 6 that is equal to 31. 31 plus negative 6 is equal to 25. 25 plus negative 6 is equal to 19. 19 plus negative 6 is equal to 13. 13 plus negative 6 is equal to 7. Therefore, the four arithmetic means between 37 and 7 are 31, 25, 19, and 13. Example number 5. Find the missing term of the sequence blank, 6, blank, blank, and 30. Solution, given. A sub n is equal to 30. A sub 1 is 6. N is equal to 4. D is unknown. Applying the formula, A sub n is equal to A sub 1 plus quantity n minus 1 multiplied by D. Where 30 goes to A sub n, 6 goes to A sub 1, 4 goes to n. So we have now 30 is equal to 6 plus quantity 4 minus 1 multiplied by D. By distributive property of multiplication, we multiply D to quantity 4 minus 1. That is 4D minus D. So, 30 is equal to 6 plus 4D minus D. Combining like terms, we have 4D minus D, that is 3D. 30 now is equal to 6 plus 3D. Then, transpose 6 to the other side of the equation. From positive, it becomes negative. So, 30 minus 6, that is 24. 24 now is equal to 3D. Divide both sides by 3. To isolate D, we have 24 divided by 3 that is equal to 8. 3D divided by 3 that is equal to D. D now is equal to 8. Okay, let's apply the difference formula that is D is equal to A sub N minus A sub K all over N minus K, where N should be greater than K. By substitution, our a sub n is equal to 30, a sub k is equal to a sub 1, and that is 6. n is equal to 4, k is equal to 1. We have now d is equal to 30 minus 6, that is 24, 4 minus 1, that is 3. So 24 divided by 3, it is equal to 8. In order to get the term, we should add a to the first term and so on. So 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. 14 plus 8 is equal to 22, and 22 plus 8 is equal to 30. Note that to find the preceding term, subtract 8. Therefore, the missing terms are negative 2, 14, and 22. I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you, have a nice day, and God bless everyone!